Hey, and welcome to the second part in which we're gonna access the interaction area. From there, with the help of an interface function, we are telling a test actor if the player is focusing it. Let's start by going to our interaction trace actor component. And last tutorial, we created here the trace interaction area function. So let's open it now and implement it. Um, here, create a new branch connected with the trace value here. And um, basically, if that is true, that means that we are actually um, tracing an interaction area. And if that is false, that means that we either trace another actor, a different actor that has not the class of interaction area, or we are just tracing nothing at all. So let's go here with the true first, add here another branch. And now we want to add two variables. The first one will be a bool and called is tracing interaction area. And just put it in here. Before that, we create another uh, variable um, that will be uh, focused interaction area. And that will have the type of BP interaction area. So whenever we are focusing an interaction area, we will set We'll set it to, we'll store it in this variable and at the same time also setting is tracing interaction area on true. So let's say we are tracing an interaction area and we are not already tracing an interaction area, so false. Then we want to get our focused actor from the trace function before here, focused actor. And because it's here on the true pin, we know it has to be an actor of the class interaction area. So it's safe to take the focus actor and cast here to the um, interaction area. So here on false, we're not already focusing any interaction area. So false here, cast to it and in here want to set the focused interaction area variable to this this return value and also here toggle focus and set it true and is tracing interaction area want to set it also on true um, in case we are also already tracing an interaction area so, for example, we are looking on an interactable actor and then without looking on any other actor, we are just straight going over and looking on a different interaction area. So, we are already tracing and request for uh, a new trace. So, that means that we want to untrace our uh, interaction area from before, that we traced before. So we're taking the focus interaction area and just toggle focus and just set it on false. Okay. Like so. Let's take a look on false. If we stop tracing, then we also want to then we also want to um, check if we are already tracing an interaction area. If not, then we don't want to do anything, that's fine. But if we are tracing already an interaction area, we want to say that we now stop tracing an interaction area, so set it here on false. We're taking the interaction area from before and Toggle focus on false and also setting the two variables focused actor and 
focused interaction area, set them both to null. So basically having no input for them, setting both to null. Great. Now let's create our test actor that should be interactable. So just create a new blueprint class actor, or we'll just call it BP test interaction actor. Let's open it. And here I will just add a cube. And then add a child actor. Click on this child actor, select it here. And then in the details panel, you will see you can select here child actor class. And here we should select our BP interaction area class. And now you can't see it because it's a bit smaller. So we need to scale it up. So make sure it's, um, you can see the interaction area. So this, this box collision here Make sure you see it around the mesh. Otherwise, it could be that the mesh is blocking our interaction area. Um, yeah, in the later tutorial, if we have certain shape, for example, sphere or so, we also want to we also make uh, customize this interaction area so it will can fit our shape, so it's more adjustable. But for this tutorial now, let's just have this is square interaction area added here. So we can just test it. Um, so now it's added here. Now we need to go back to the interaction area actor. And here we created this toggle focus event. So let's just maybe print here text. It should print true or false whenever we focus or not. So we can test if it actually focuses here. So let's go back in here and interaction, drag and drop in our interaction actor. And let's just try to go to it and focus it. So you see here now true and if we stop focusing in false. True, false, true, false. Um, I made a recording attempt before where it doesn't, uh, where it um, didn't print. Um, this didn't print for some reason. It was it was a bug of Unreal Engine five. Um, don't know why it happened. But like after a few compiles and savings and changing the print string, suddenly it worked or it didn't change anything or maybe after resetting the project or so. So it might be that in the current state of Unreal Engine 5 could be that it skips this event for some reason. Um, yeah, just wanted to say that it's not, not must be your fault if, if it's not working, but yeah, it should work. Just make sure to compile and save everything and maybe restart the project and then it should work. Um, okay, fine. Now we're printing this text in the, um, in the interaction area, but we want to tell the actual test actor if we're focusing or not. So we can do uh, cosmetic stuff like outlining and adding here a widget and to, that tells the player to interact and so. Uh, so how can we, from this interaction area, how can we access actually its parent actor and execute there a custom event? Because if you look back in the test actor, you can see that is the interaction area is actually here, a child actor of this test interaction actor. So we can do that with the help of a interface. So let's create here a blueprint interface. We we'll call it BI interaction. In here, it creates just a new function. 
if not just add one and just call it i will just call it interface toggle focus as input i'm choosing the bool say just focus that's it from this interface we can just don't need it anymore um now we can go to our test interaction actor go to class settings and add this uh, interface so now when we've added it here you should see here this interface tab you can right click on interface toggle focus function and implement event and now we could print here the text let's make it maybe in a, in a different color so we see that's now this test actor here go to interaction area and here get parent actor and there we want to execute now this uh, interface event so interface toggle focus and as boolean variable just take here the created focus focus variable so now it will just check does the actor has this interface applied and if yes then it will execute this fun this custom event here so let's try it now you see it prints true and false if we go away from it again now i can also show if we're adding for example another cube here if we go now to this place now it prints true and now if we're moving to the other to the other uh, actor then it will print false and because it's leaving this actor and print true for the other so false and true as you can see there um yeah we can also now where we see it's working can go to the actor component go to the trace and turn off this debug mode again so now it's just working fine um yeah that's everything from this tutorial in the next tutorial we are going to um, add some outline effect and maybe a widget where you can see like just inform the player that it's now possible to uh, interact and yeah i hope you enjoyed it uh, leave a like and subscribe and thank you for watching.